I'll just try to say a few words about what it's been like to be the program committee chair of this conference. So last year, the previous chair of the ANCF, Erhard Heinrichs, cornered me in Wrocław and held me accountable for a hasty promise that I had made earlier that I might consider being the PC chair for, for this conference. And what could I do? Uh, I took it on with, with some trepidation, but I, I must say that it's been a, a very nice experience for, for many reasons. I've already given you the statistics about submissions, etc., at the beginning. And now, at the end, we have seen those dry figures turned into flesh and words and images. And, and I think it's a very nice uh, picture that has emerged. It, it's been a fantastic conference with a fantastic program, uh, a diverse program, not a fragmented one, I have to say. Uh, and, the, and like I said at the beginning, it, it was also a good exercise to actually try to classify uh, submissions into the different aspects of Clarin as, as they have been laid out on, on the Clarin website. So uh, this, of course, is very little my doing. It's thanks to, to our presenters and to our invited speakers that the program has been so good. So I'd, I'd like to simply thank all of you who have presented uh, papers and posters. And I would also like to thank our invited speakers if they are still. Well, I, I'd like to th thank them anyway, but <laughs> they might have, <laughs> might have left. Uh, I would also like to say that uh, uh, I don't know if you reflected over this, but uh, a mature and good infrastructure is completely invisible to the user. It's, uh, you, you don't notice it. You just do things the way they're supposed to be done. And, and there might be, and probably is, if the infrastructure is good, lots and lots and lots of effort spent on making it the way it is. And, and from the point of view of the program committee chair, the, this invisible perfect infrastructure has been the Clarin Erik Utrecht office. The people who, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll mention the people that I've been interacting with and always very quickly within sometimes panic, panicky emails sent it's, it's Sebastian and Linda and Leon and also Francisca who has been a kind of a, a sounding board for, for many of the things that I didn't... Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, for, for, for questions or problems that I might have had. It, it's, it's really so much you're doing that this, this whole endeavor has been... Uh, the way it has been, and also, of course, the local organizers, Brigitte and, and her team. Uh, the, um, fortunately, the chairpersonship is not for life. It's uh, in, in an older and more brutal time, we would probably have had uh, some kind of ceremony now that we're in between the, between the uh, uh, autumnal equinox and the winter solstice and in between two full moons when we had would have ritually burned the or ritually sacrificed the outgoing PC chair and the new one would have arisen out of the ashes but we do it more in a more civilized way now and and there is a new coming PC chair for the next year's edition of the of the Clarin conference and that's Maciej Piasecki who has taken on this role so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, very, it's a big pleasure that I can help and, and keep, keep going this conference. So I would like to invite you to submit papers. <laughs> the deadline will be announced, but I would like to uh, warn that we are thinking about earlier deadline and having a decision before summer, around uh, somewhere in the June. So be, be aware that that there will be a little, little less time this, this, uh, for preparing papers. So please uh, feel invited very warmly <laughs> for submitting papers. Thank you.